one process except for meat powder, 100% organic, no sugar, no fillers, no nothing, just cacao. I put that in my shake in the morning. Lots of antioxidants, lots of minerals, all this stuff. It's natural, it's amazing. So now I have my almond and coconut milk, now I have my maca root, like I told you, for five reasons to regulate my system, and then I put in my cacao, my antioxidants, and this and that, and then I started using collagen peptides. What are collagen peptides? Who's at that? Yes, they help with skin, they help with other things too. So collagen peptides, everybody's body has collagen in it, right? We know that we have collagen all over. Do you know you also have collagen in your gut? Do you know that as you get older, your body loses collagen, right? Which is why we start to sag, wrinkle over time. Also, you stop being able to digest certain things, am I right? I can't digest raw vegetables to save my life, or I couldn't. Uh, anymore, it's not over stopping to digest of meat. You know how long meat stays in your system? Seven days. Huh? Seven days. It can be up to five weeks, depending on the meat, depending five on your years. system. Yeah, seven, seven days, seven weeks, and it can be weeks, it can be months. That's something you eat, it's still sitting in your body rotting. So you don't want to get all that stuff out. So I need my collagen peptides in the morning. Again, things that your doctor isn't going to tell you. Um, for my skin, for my nails, for my hair, of course, also for my gut, so that um, I can help digest my food. It also helps, of course, with your joints, those of you who are athletic, it helps with that. I tell my dad, again, collagen peptides, dad, less Oreos, more collagen peptides. So every time he gets up, he goes like this, oh, my knees, you know, he's doing this thing. And I'm like, okay, dad, collagen peptides. We were born with a lot less collagen in our knees than most people. He gave that to me, and I'm telling him, dad, collagen peptides, less Oreos, more collagen peptides. I'm teaching my dad. I'm teaching my dad at 66 years old, or someone my dad does not know. So I have to be the one to come to my dad's house at 66 years old and tell him how to live his life so that he doesn't die when I'm 40 because I'm not ready yet. I need him to be alive just a little longer, like 30 more years. <laughs> right? But if I'm making my dad live 30 more years, I've got to get the Hershey syrup out of his hand and replace that with cacao. I've got to get that cow's milk out of his fridge and replace it with almond or coconut or something else. I also added to my shake at that point super greens. So you'll see these green powders that are basically greens that have been dried and powdered or whatever. I do that a lot. I have one that's especially for digestion and for detox. Again, to help me move my food through my system, like this little drink that you're going to drink later. I also do that to ginger, lemon juice, um, pineapple juice is good digestive too. Helps you clean things out. I do this every single morning and then I add honey, raw honey. Do you know that the honey that's in that little bear that you guys see right? Do you know that's not real honey? You know that real honey is a liquid? Do you know that raw honey looks nothing? It's not even that color. But it's kind of crystallized. It's, it's in a jar, not in the bottle. So I get the raw honey with bee pollen in it. Bee pollen is also very healthy, especially if it's local. And I shake all that with my shaker bottle first thing in the morning. It's chocolate milk, but the cow overpowers everything else, and that's my version of my chocolate milk. My dad's version is cow's milk and her sheets. My version, you just heard, is all this shit that, that keeps my body open. It helps me out. Ever since I added the collagen peptides, ever since I added the greens or whatever, I'm digesting shit like you wouldn't believe. It's in and it's out. It's in and it's out. No problems. Gut gone. How many girls have bloat? Ooh, girls. <laughs> we don't want to talk about it, girls. We don't be like it. We wear our baggies. I'm good. And you put your hands in your pockets. Oh, hey, girl. I'm fine. Meanwhile, your belly under here is like this big. That bloat is no joke. Um, so being able to get my bloat down is really important to me. And to be able to feel a little healthier. Look at my chocolate milk in the morning. Look at my dad's chocolate milk. He wakes up in pain. I wake up energized. These are things that I have to now bring home to my dad. So just the way that I'm telling you is the, is the same way you need to tell somebody else. It's the same way you need to learn um, what your alternatives are. When you learn what your alternatives are, you're able to share them with other people. And as you go into your profession, especially those into the medical profession, I'm sharing things with my doctor that my doctor doesn't know. And then I can hear my doctor sharing it with his nurses. When I come, this is very small office, a family business. I hear him say, guess what Corinne just said? Guess what she just told me? Or his wife, guess what? 
And that is why he's there with them too. And now they're sharing it with their patients. Yes, he's a Western medicine doctor. Yes, he's going to write a prescription because that's what he does. But he's also now going to tell you, here's, uh, okay, ma'am, you have a yeast infection. Sorry, guys, but it happens. My doctor's going to always, first and foremost, one time he wrote a prescription for Monistat. I said, you a prescription for Monistat. I was like, doc, I don't need an RX for Monistat. Also, not taking Monistat, doc. I'm just going to eat yogurt for like three days. And he's like, what's that mean? <laughs> All right, doc, sit down. I have something to tell I don't do cow's milk, but if I get an infection, I will take yogurt for three days. You can take it orally, or some girls will put it on yogurt. I don't put it in there. It's too messy for me. But if you eat that yogurt for three days, that yeast infection is gone. I told my doctor that, and his mouth dropped. He couldn't fucking believe it. He said, all this time, I'm telling ladies to just go get monastat. I said, doc, what's in monastat? That little off you, that little thing, what's in there? Does anybody know what's in Huh? It's a Yeah, what is it? What is that? Does anybody know what that is? Where it came from? Who made it? What does it do? Nobody knows. Yeah, we're sticking things in our vaginas at an exponential rate. Let's talk about things we stick in our vaginas. I feel like that's what you guys want to talk about right now. <laughs> the men want to hear this too. <laughs> so, Women stick a lot of things in their vaginas. Uh, Monistat's one of them. Uh, tampons, who's uses tampons? Guys pay, guys pay attention too, because you're going to have to tell your sisters this, your mom this in a second. Who uses tampons? <laughs> Raise your hands, you use tampons! <laughs> Are we still doing this in 2019? <laughs>
goes into your skin. Your skin is your largest organ, right? You learn that, right? Your skin is your largest organ. It's an organ, just like your lungs and your heart. So everything that it touches, it absorbs 65% of everything it touches. You guys will be feeling so betrayed right now. I'm so sorry. Now, let's talk about 